Hello everyone. In this video, we'll go over how to set up different pricing for different service categories in the booking form. For example, let's say you run a cleaning service that has three different service categories, standard, deep cleaning, and move and move out. How do we go about setting up different pricing for each of these three categories? The answer to this is to set up dependencies. Dependencies allow us to show or hide different variables or pricing parameters or really almost any aspect of the booking form based on another type of factor. In this case, our pricing parameters here would depend on the service category. Indeed, the first step of creating different pricing is to make sure that we've created our different service categories. To create a service category, one will go to Settings, Industries, then click on your industry name, your form number, and then Service Category. And then to add a new service category, you'll click the blue Add New button here. For this example, I'm going to add a post-construction service category. Under display, we're going to make sure this displays on the customer front end, back end, and admin end. So everyone, including new customers and existing customers, as well as the admin can book this type of service. And this will be a flat rate service like the other services, which will rely on the variables. So for is this an hourly service, we'll keep this set as no. And then we'll click next. We won't be adding this service category to other forms at this time, um, but this is a good option in case you are setting up uh, multiple booking forms for a single industry and would like to add the service category across all forms. And then we'll scroll down here and in this dependencies tab here, we're going to unselect all of our existing variables um, because the assumption is that we have already created pricing for our standard category, but we have not yet created pricing for our other categories. And then we'll click the next button. And this last section here is to exclude or block providers or your workers from taking on jobs in this category. Um, right now, we're not going to make any selections here. We'll just click the Save button. And now you can see here under Post Construction, we have our new service category. I'll just go ahead and update the priority order here, and then we can move on. So now that we have all of the service categories we need, the next step is to go in and begin enabling our dependencies. So to enable dependencies, we're gonna go under the settings section again, go under industries, the industry name. This time we'll go to settings and then form settings. And then we'll select options and edit to open up the settings for the particular form we're working in, which in this example is form one. And now we'll scroll down to the bottom here where we see all of these check boxes. And this is where dependencies are enabled. Um, dependencies can be enabled for a lot of different aspects of the booking form. Um, so you can go through and explore. Um, in this case though, we're going to be checking the box next to service category for the question, which options should the variable show for? So in this case, we want to have the variables showing for different service categories. So we have the box checked next to service category. Um, there's other dependencies enabled for this particular form that you may have already noticed, such as frequency being enabled for service category dependencies. This means that you can decide which frequencies will show for that service category. And um, indeed, we might go ahead and make a quick update to our post construction category to make it so that it's only a one-time frequency option. In any case, now that we've selected our dependencies, we'll go ahead and click the Save button. And then you can just exit out of this pop-up here. 
And then the final step is to go ahead and start creating the variables or pricing parameters. So again, we're going under settings, industries, your industry name, then the form number, form one in this case, and pricing parameters. So here you can see we've already started to set up some of the different service categories for the existing pricing parameters for square feet. So square feet or square footage would be the variable category and each of these options are variables. So the first variable one through 999 is for 199, one through 999 square feet. And this is going to be the rate for the service category of standard cleaning. Now at the bottom here, we notice that we also have a second one through 999 option. This one has deep next to it. And if we look under the service category here, you can see that this is going to be the variable for the deep cleaning price. And it's a little bit more expensive than the original standard cleaning price. So I'm going to show you how to set these up now. Um, the first step is to go in and we're going to edit one of these service categories that says NA, which means that no dependencies have been set up just yet. So we'll select options and then edit. And then click on the dependencies tab. And then here where it says, should the variable show based on the service category, we'll select yes. And now we can see we have all of our different service categories displayed. Now, this is one of the original prices that we've already set up. So this is going to be for our standard list of pricing. So we've unchecked deep cleaning, move and move out and post construction and only standard has remained. I am gonna check off the exclude parameters here as well as the extras are already selected. So that's perfect. And then we'll click save. And now you can see it's been updated. So now it says standard. So we've gone ahead and we've started creating our standard list of pricing. And so you'll repeat these steps and go through the dependencies for your existing prices. And you'll want to select the category or categories that best represent the pricing you've created thus far. All right, so now we have our variables for all of our standard category cleanings created. And here you can see we have our first for the deep cleaning created. So let's go ahead now and let's start creating a couple more deep cleaning variables. And the way I like to do this is by selecting options and then duplicate. And you can duplicate an existing variable and then quickly make a couple of changes to it and save yourself some time. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using the different on customer end feature and I'm going to add the word deep to the admin description. So it just makes it a little bit easier for us to see in the back end when we're working on setting up pricing, um, what this variable belongs to in terms of the category. And then when we check the box different on customer end, the second field here is what the customer will see. So they won't see the word deep, they'll just see the square footage range that we've created. And then now we're going to go down and put in our pricing for this particular variable for the deep cleaning category. And so in this case, that means extending the time a little bit, as well as increasing the rate. Then we'll click next. And here, as you can see, we've already enabled the dependencies. So now we just have to go ahead and make a quick switch uncheck standard and then check deep cleaning box. And now we can go ahead and click the save button. And as you can see, we now have two deep cleaning variables created.
So basically, these are the steps that it takes to create different sets of pricing for different service categories. We'll go ahead and continue to create a couple more options. All right, so now we have our three sets, our three variables created for deep cleaning. And now if we navigate back to the booking form, we can start to see some of the work we've done here. So you can see for standard here, we have 109 through 999 square foot selected, and it brings us to a total of 183. Now, if we switch and do our deep cleaning category, we'll see that automatically the pricing has increased to 214.50. And so here on the admin side, we can see that all of our deep cleaning variables have been added for this particular category here. All of our standards don't have labels, so they just look like this. And then we'll need to go in and as you can see, there's no variables created just yet for square footage for move in, move out. So we'll need to make those as well as those for post construction. Um, but yes, in general, that is how you can create different pricing parameters for different service categories. And again, it allows you to create different prices for the different types of services you offer your customers. If you have any other questions on how to set up your pricing parameters, service categories, or dependencies, please feel free to email us at support at bookingkoala.com. Thank you so much for watching and take care, everyone.